morning. We've just had a new gate fitted, but uh, the dogs have learnt to jump over the wall, <laughs> so the gate is not effective. Um, what we used to do with our dog to start off with, he's called Whitey, I don't know if that's a problem with um, YouTube calling a dog Whitey, but we've got one Whitey, one Blackie, and the other one's called Toro. Toro's no problem, but calling a dog Whitey and Blackie, it's their colours, that's why we call them that, so I mean, I think racially we should be okay. I haven't called them anything too derogatory. This their colour. Yeah, I'll show you. Mm. See? White and black. Anyway. So, um, initially, we put a, a muzzle on Whitey. Because he barks. He barks all night. And um, he still barked with a muzzle on. So that didn't work. So what we do now, we put him on a chain at night. But then he's noisy all night. So he is a problem that we need to resolve. And it just led me to think about us. First of all, they put a muscle on us, masks. And uh, then they chained us up with lockdowns. I don't think it's fair on dogs. I don't think it's fair on us. <laughs> okay. So is there a solution? Is there a way to solve this problem? I was thinking last night that we are the problem. Our ego is the problem. Think about it. We want what we have and we want more. So there are say seven billion people in the, in the world say a billion of them are quite comfortable. Have a house, are okay, have money, are okay, have food. And say four billion or three billion are at poverty level. So when this one billion see their life threatened by the other three or four billion that want to come and invade their home and eat their food and do whatever, they're unhappy. That's why we have um, controls at borders and everything to stop the poor having what we have. So are we any better than the, the super rich or the globalists that um, want to have their mansions and their yachts and uh, want to depopulate the world? That's their solution. They want to get the world down to 500,000 so that they don't have to worry about useless eaters. People who aren't working for them and um, are just eating food. So are we any better? In fact, we're not because we are ego. If we get into their position, we will be happy. We will say, right, I've got everything now. Beautiful car, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I don't want these very, very poor people on the streets with no home and... It's ego. So is there an answer? Well, of course there's an answer. It's to uh, go beyond the ego. Find the I am, find the God within. Then desire goes, you don't need anything. You're happy within yourself. You know everybody is part of you so you don't want to see very poor people you would rather share what you have with them now take remember remember this is non-ego ego does not want to lose anything ego wants more and it's quite difficult well not difficult it's It's possible to find I am within and lose the ego. But it's not simple. Okay, that's all today. Good luck, have a good day. Bye.